So Rathbone Square is a mixed development. Eight floors of residential space and six floors of commercial space. It's a very big project, uh, requires a lot of coordination, hence why they put BIM mandated on this project. What you see there is Rathbone Square, how it, how it will hopefully look. We've got all the services collaborated into, into this one model so we can walk around it and make sure we're not clashing with anything. Um, sometimes with the 2D drawings, Things, especially down in these basements, things can get very, all the services are very congested. It's hard to read the drawings sometimes. Traditionally, we used to layer 2D drawings from consultants and trades, put them on top of each other with some tracing paper, and try and spot where the clashes are. Now, if we can see the clash, we can rectify it. So, if you get the, the 3D model up and you can actually stand in front of the guys and say, Look, this is here, exactly what should be installed there and it gives them a picture in their head exactly what they're building. We include a certain set of attributes for facilities management tagged in the model. Right, yeah, so we'd have the cursor and you'd select a bit of containment and we'd have all our asset referencing. It tells us what it is, where it's located, the asset code, building, level, that sort of thing. So what we did with T. Clarks is we sat down, wrote BIM scope of services. We'd like to see containment being designed. We'd like to see all the bracketry. We want to see all the uh, electrical equipment, everything in all the right places, and coordinate with other trades. We have to talk to all the trades. It's a big thing. We have to get it right on the model before we stop producing our single service drawings. So we all understand our own services, but you might look up in the scene and think, what, what's that? Um, bit of ductwork, what's that bit of pipe work? You can go on the model and you click on it and tell you exactly which company is installing it. Um, it will tell you what it does, what, what it is. Uh, we try to bring BIM out on site, uh, use it to do snagging, make sure the design is going to plan. We can literally look up there. Do you see this bit of containment is up there? Hold this button and you can just go around and it will show you every brick. Every screw, every bolt is on, on the models. It makes the job a lot quicker and a lot easier. I mean, the um, clerks have been modeling for you know, almost a decade. Um, but adding the uh, additional BIM coordination from other trades in the industry now is a, um, a difficult you know, task. But slowly, slowly, you'll see that the industry now will start to follow suit.